Ryan Jenkins was found dead in a motel mm -hmm. in Canada. And now you might be wondering, who the hell is Ryan Jenkins? Well, he was a contestant on Megan Wants a Millionaire. And he was wanted uh, as a suspect for killing his ex-fiancee. Mm -hmm. Right. I know this because uh, while I was on break, uh, one of the TVs uh, in the hotel lobby was turned to Nancy Grace. And she only covered this story, it appeared, for 18 hours a day. Because whenever I walked by, it was Nancy Grace on this story. <laughs> and the body was found stuffed in a suitcase. She gets very animated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, I, you know, I have to be honest with you. I hate Nancy Grace's show. Because uh, I feel like she pretends to be concerned about these while milking it for ratings. Yeah, yeah, like every other anchor and TV personality. I, I know that's true. I know that's true. But with Nancy Grace, like, that's what she makes a living out of. Like this She's really drama. bad at, at pretending. Like, she's too obvious. Yeah, she just does, does this drama, and she's so into it. Like, she pretends to be care about the victims, but in fact, she loves the story. You're right. You know? It's like, stuffed in a suitcase. Can you believe that? I mean, I'm horrified. Horrified. Rating's going up, right? Yeah, fantastic. All right, let's talk to more guests. And then they have, like, 28 guests. She does these absurd, like, box within box within box within box. And they're... And this story's so damn gruesome. It's very gruesome, okay? This guy, um, you know, in order to uh, hide her identity, uh, by the name, by the way, her name was Jasmine Fior. She was a Las Vegas socialite. And, and that's, well, that's why they loved her, too, because there's all these scantily clad pictures of her. And I just, as they're talking about her, they put up the picture after picture after picture after picture, and as if they're concerned, but in fact, they're like, look, look at this hot girl who was, like, dismembered. Right. I don't know, it's just something about it, man. Grates on my nerves. He wanted to hide her identity, so he actually cut off her like fingers and uh, oh, and also damn. took out her teeth. Oh, Okay, man. hold on. And then uh, when they found her body in a suitcase, um, the only way they were able to identify her was through the serial number on her implants. See, that's the one part of the story that's really interesting. I didn't know they had serial numbers on the implants. I guess they do. I mean, I didn't know that either until I read about the story. Right. Okay, okay. I don't even want to see it anymore. Okay. Um, and so, finally, they, this guy was a reality contestant, by the way. Yes. On, on the most ridiculous show on earth, Megan Wants a Millionaire. Have you ever heard about that show or even seen an episode? Uh, I had not until I saw this case. Right. It's the most disgusting show, I think. I, I can't stand it. But anyway, um, so yeah, yeah, uh, he was a contestant on the show, and that's why this is kind of uh, in the media. And uh, the show has been canceled ever since Ryan Jenkins was wanted for murder and all that stuff. And um, Meg is, I mean, that's the Megan girl. That's the Megan girl who basically she wants to be a trophy wife. It's like the bachelorette, except she's basically saying, uh, I only want someone who's rich and who can take care of me, and he needs to be a millionaire. Yeah. Um, <laughs> She looks like a cross between Hulk Hogan's daughter and Hulk Hogan's lover. You know how they both kind of look alike a little bit? I think that that's, I, I think that's an insult to Hulk Hogan's uh, daughter and lover. Oh, really? You think she looks worse? I think she has a nice body, but her face makes me uncomfortable. I think she has a really... <laughs> it makes me uncomfortable. I love that comment. <laughs> like, but it's true. Doesn't she look like a cartoon character or something? There's something weird about it. There's something off about it. And she's an Amazon. Jesus. I got no interest in this girl at all. Anyways, this was the classic girl that they were auctioning off, right? right uh, to all these millionaires. But the TV's so full of crap, of course they weren't millionaires. Right. Now we find out Ryan Jenkins, who was a finalist. Who almost got the trophy wife? Ooh, congratulations! Right, right. Who then later actually got a real trophy wife? Who he then murdered? Right, mm -hmm. as we know now. Uh, he uh, was he really a millionaire? He was a real estate developer and a hundred other jobs that they listed. Mm -hmm. And then when you go to look into it, was he really any of those things? It doesn't really appear so, mm -hmm. right? And so. Uh, obviously, the gig was up for him in Canada. He realized, you know, he probably, I hope he had an attack of conscience, too, for what he did to that poor girl. Right. And so he winds up hanging himself in a hotel room right. in, in Canada. Now, look, it's sad all around. Obviously, you don't want any of this to happen. And I'm going to be honest with you guys, because that's what we do. Uh, part of me was not at all sad that he hung himself. Oh, 
Not at all. Not even a little bit. <laughs> I, actually, the only thing that made me sad is that we couldn't put him in jail and torture him for the rest of his okay, life. Okay, just please, yeah. please. Uh, I love how Anna always takes it over. He the killed top. himself. It's Re over. It's done. I, I mean, know. Okay, okay. Look, we're supposed to be good lips. That was right? the easy way out. Yeah, we're yeah, not yeah. supposed to torture him. Okay? okay, I'm not. I'm not talking about waterboarding him for the rest of his life. But I mean, put him in prison where he belongs. I mean, that's real punishment. Though. I know. That's what we sh should want as mm -hmm. far as justice is concerned, et cetera, et cetera. But you're right. I feel a little like, you know what? Obviously, he's kind of admitting guilt here. We wrap it all up. He gets what he deserves, obviously, right? Right. And, you know, we're supposed to be against dying and death because we're libs and stuff. But that's the reason. Can we not root for this guy to hang himself? I think we can't, right? You're saying obviously. No. I think he deserves to be in jail. I Which think you think is worse. Oh, I think, yeah, I think it's worse to be in jail for the rest of your life. He took the, I think he took the easy way out. Yeah. All right, well, that's the story, man, and it's disgusting, and it's got a lot of issues. If you like this little clip, you'll love the whole show. It loops 24-7 on theyoungturks.com. Go and check it out right now.